Hi, it's Dr. Lynn Kenny. We are so happy that it's cool to be kind. As a parent, teacher, or coach, you are your child's best role model for learning kindness and empathy. Our children sometimes hear messages like, be kind, use a softer voice, make a different choice. But what we know at Generation On is that your children need to be provided with the words, thoughts, and actions in order to be kind and empathic. We're excited to be participating in the Rules of Kindness program with over 25,000 youth, and we hope that you'll join us as well. If you're ready to power up the kindness in your family, school, or town, here are a few fast tips in order to get you started. First, talk with the kids about what kindness is. Often they're told to be kind, but we really don't give them the backstory on what kindness is, what kindness looks like, what kindness feels like, what kindness sounds like. Instead of telling them the definition yourself, ask them, hey, I hear about this kindness thing. What is that? What does kindness look like at your school? What, do, what does kindness look like in our family? How does kindness feel? You see, talking with kids about the fact that kindness looks like something is speaking with them in a language they understand. See, intuitively, they know when they see kindness. They know when they observe their teacher being kind in their classroom or two kids being kind on the playground. So chat with them a little bit about their own experiences of what they observe when people are being kind. Another thing you can do with kids is chat with them about what kindness sounds like. I mean, when you tell children that kindness actually sounds like something, they know that as well. But you see, they can pick up on contemptuous tones, sarcastic tones. They know when someone's using a kind voice or a voice that just isn't so friendly. So chat with them about what kindness sounds like to them in order to help them hear kindness everywhere. Make kindness personal. You see, our kids are so used to being on the receiving end of lessons and lectures and learning. When you chat with them a little bit about their own personal experiences of how it felt to be kind or what it was like for someone to be kind to them, you make kindness and empathy much more meaningful. Now you're ready to turn all your conversations into action. It's wonderful to participate in your church or synagogue. It's terrific to participate in a youth service project. What about creating a kindness club at your own school? Here at Generation On, we have laid the groundwork. We have a beautiful website with wonderful tools and resources you can use for your family, at school, or in your community. So join us. Consider writing your own rules of kindness, whether it's in your home or your community or your school. Check out the website, follow the hashtag rules of kindness, and join us in lifting education, kindness, and caring up for our kids.